Hello lovelies, welcome to Night Free Formula, my name's Freedom, thank you for joining me. Um, this afternoon's episode is about whether or not narcs can have friends, um, whether or not narcs do friendship. Before I start, can I remind you, if you like my videos, to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any upcoming episodes, that's really important. Alright lovelies, I've got some notes down here, so if I'm looking down, that's what I'm doing. Um... All right, let's get down to it. So, can narcs have friends? So, acquaintances? Yes. Um, colleagues? Yes. Drinking buddies? Yes. Um, sporting mates? Yes. Flying monkeys? Sure. But friends? No. Um, and why not? Well, first of all, narcs do not have the capacity to have real relationships with anyone. Um, they are not honest. They do not have integrity. Um, they do not do intimacy. Um, they, um, when I say intimacy, even the word, you know, into me. I see, you know, intimacy. Um, so it's, you know, it's about showing people who you really are, about being in that space, um, that sacred space of mutual um, trust. And friendship, you know, in the truest form, friendship is not uh, based on, you know, gain. And narcissists are all about usury. So they are users um, they will always seek uh, what other people have. So when they create friendships, they actually will assess. So they do like a little um, collateral assessment. I'm not sure if that's the word. But, you know, they kind of assess the entire person's life, what they have, what belongings they have, who they know, what the potential gain and benefit of being friends with this person is. So the narcissist will always come first. Um, I remember, for example, here's a it's an interesting little story. So I remember when um, my ex was um, friends with a local drug dealer and he used to take him, um, you know, little gifts gold so he this person collected gold and he collected certain things and my husband would take gifts so he would buy things from him but he would also take him gifts and this person loved him and you know because they had the same birthday that he thought this person projected all of his good qualities onto my husband my husband took full advantage of that um, and this person totally trusted him, would have called him a brother, um, totally trusted him, all the rest of it, and unbeknownst to him, all my ex was doing was getting all of his insider knowledge on how his business was running, getting all of his contacts, getting all of his clients and customers, um, and essentially he... Uh, did a hostile takeover, we'll put it that way. Um, and, you know, things obviously turned to shit with his best friend, his brother, his brother in arms. So they will always put themselves and their wants first. No matter what it is, they come first. If they want it, they're going to take it. They're going to figure out to get what they want. You know, because that's just their sense of entitlement, their sense of, um, you know, being more important than everyone else, having more value. All right. Um, they can't do friendship because they are disordered as well. You've got to remember this. They view people as supplies of fuel. Um, they either use them for what they can get from them or if they're getting fuel from them, um, they're now, a fuel source, that is not a friend, you know. So if there is someone, for example, who laughs at all their jokes, who's so happy to see them every day, who gives them heaps of energy, who, um, for example, when they lose their call and tell them to fuck off one day, you know, if they come groveling back the next day, 
the narcissist will let that person hang around. They will think that they are friends, um, but it couldn't be further from the truth. The narcissist is number one, above everything. What they want and you know their wants become come before everyone else. You cannot rely on them. Um, they, they are completely disordered and dysfunctional. Their programming plays out. This is the other thing. You know, so everyone is on some kind of um, timeline because they know that people are going to find out about them. They know that the mask is going to slip at some stage. So they don't let people close. They take everything that they can get from that person. I mean, everything. And if that, as I said, if that includes fuel, they're going to take that as well. They demand complete loyalty and obedience. And, you know, that's not what friendship's about. You know, friendship's not about, you know, having a good lap dog and jump, you say jump, I say how high. That's not what friendship is. But that's what narcissists expect in their um, their, their friendships. Oh, God. I remember one story um, that of a time where the ex, one of his flying monkey best mates, um, you know, this, this bloke just thought, the sun rose and shone, you know, from my ex, ex's ass. Um, literally, you know, he was like a, a puppy dog, just following him around, doing what he wanted, you know, committing crimes, doing all kinds of things. I mean, this was some really shady people that were hanging around at the end of the situationship with my ex. Um, but anyhow, this particular person had... My ex had thought he had stolen a pair of sunglasses of his. Um, now, unbeknownst to this bloke, my ex was literally sharpening a machete. No, it was a watch. Sorry, my bad. It was a watch. Sharpening a machete because he was going to cut the watch off his hand. So he was angle grinder, you know, with the angle grinder, sharpening a machete. Um... And this bloke had no idea walking into the house that that my husband was talking about handcuffing him and cutting off his hand to get a watch. Now, luckily, I managed to obviously talk some sense into him. And at the same time, we all know that they are, you know, masters of the bravado, macho performance. So it could have been a whole lot of performance art as well. However, it also could have turned really ugly, you know. So this is a bloke who was, he thought, his best mate, you know, his best mate. This bloke had gone into battles for him. He'd done all kinds of things for him. And at the end of the day, what did he do in return? Oh, just stole his girl while he was in jail. I mean, this is what they do. You know, and then they justify it. Like they they make up. Sorry, I've got some little bug trying to have a go at me, as someone would say. It's a narcissist. Um, um, um they always take advantage of what I was saying. I've forgotten now. Damn bug. So they just, they, they use people, essentially. They use people for what they can get. People think they're having friendships with them, but they're actually just um, giving them fuel or being flying monkeys or providing some service in some way. Um, the, the last um, thing that I want to talk about is the flying monkey scenario because this is another thing. Um, when people are acting out as flying monkeys, thinking that they're friends with the narcissist, you know. Um, I've had someone harassing me, telling me that I don't know about my own husband of 14 years. I mean, um, and that they know him, that they know him better because they've hung out and done drugs with him for the last, I don't know, year or so. Um, you know, this is the problem, is that narcs really do spin this, um, you know, best friends forever um, you know, we're not like, we're not just friends. We're like, you know, we're brothers in arms. Um, we're like family. They bring out this kind of, um, rabid loyalty in people because of the types of people that they target as friends. You know, they're not targeting healthy people who've got good social, you know, connections and life's going well for them. They, they deliberately target people where they have 
power and influence, people that um, are not as smart as them perhaps, you know, people that they can take advantage of and they do take advantage of them. So for example, this flying monkey idiot that's, you know, harassing me, um, you know, she's got no clue uh, about my husband, no clue at all. Maybe she imagines that one day she's going to be his partner. Who knows what's going on in her delusional mind? But the fact that she thinks she knows him better than I do um, is just shows you how powerful and how manipulative the narcissist can be when it comes to other people. You know, he's selling her the um, illusion of friendship, maybe with the possibility of more. You know, he's selling an illusion that she is buying. But in saying all of that, when I broke no contact, I might add, um, well, it was actually about the children that I ended up speaking to him, but I did mention it to him when I was speaking to him about the flying monkey scenario, um, you know, and straight away, he, he didn't defend her. He didn't have anything nice to say about her. He actually just said that she was crazy and um, proceeded to tell me some really personal, intimate things about her family, her life, her situation, losing custody of her children, um, her ex-husband or ex-partner, you know, telling me personal information about her, right? This woman that's, like I said, acting like a flying monkey, um, you know, defending his honour, standing up to me, you know, the big bad witch who's gone on, um, you know, YouTube and told the world about him, you know, she's the one who's going to take me on. I mean, this is, as I said, this is the kind of thing that they do to people. Um, they don't do friendship. They do use people and they do definitely... Um, egg people on, encourage people, like they bring out the worst in people um, and make them act like flying monkeys, like, you know, without thinking it through, where there's no logic, there's just, just this um, blind allegiance and loyalty, which is exactly what narcissists want from their flying monkeys, you know, they don't want anyone to, um, to actually think things through. They don't want people to be logical. They don't want people to go, oh, yeah, well, maybe freedom does have a point. You know, they don't want that. They just want people around them who go, oh, yeah, you're right. Um, you know, she's a bitch. You know, they just want people who see the world, um, who reaffirm, here we go, what it is. They want people who see and believe in the construct and lie that they are selling. So they've created this false narrative, they've created this lie, they've created this false um, person and the more people that believe in the construct, the more they believe that it is real. So in my particular instance, you know, when I've um, obviously created a narcissistic injury here by holding up the mirror, showing my ex who he is, um, so he doesn't want to see that, so he needs his flying monkey friends. Oh, my God, this little bug. I'm going to have to kill it. I don't like killing things, but I'm sorry. It's going to have to. Yeah, well, you stay up there, all right? You stay in your lane. <laughs> I don't like killing things, but, you know, it's going to keep flying in my face. Well, maybe I'm just going to have to kill it. Um, yeah, so, you know, he, he desperately needs his flying monkey friends who know nothing about him to really think that they know him you know that he's shown them who he really is um but what's quite fascinating is like i said this is a technique that narcissists use you know they give out this kind of false information about themselves so they you know he probably who knows he's probably even like put on the tears or done the full sob story gotten these people on side really feeling sorry for him because my god what a story it would have been too I could just imagine the story that he would have spun um you know to get to get that kind of support and to elicit that level of sympathy and as I said um obedient loyalty from people who's known him for a year you know like I couldn't I couldn't even begin to imagine being like that but I don't know that's just me whatever who cares so all right darlings let's just finish this up um basically friends to a narcissist are people who give them fuel people who act as flying monkeys and do their bidding in the world 
um, people who give them attention, money, assistance, people who give them what they want, essentially. Um, people who back up the, the construct. So people who believe in this false persona that they're selling, this false character. Um, and people who will help them keep up the facade. Because you have to remember, above everything, the narcissist really, really needs to believe that, that, that they are real and that they matter, you know, that they're not just this false construct. Um, so they really need to believe that. So they need other people to believe it so that those people tell him. You know, they're, they're literally saying, you know, I see you. I see you for who you are. This is who you are. You know, and then the narcissist goes, oh, yeah, that's right. That is that is who I am. No, you're right. That is who I am. You know, my ex, she doesn't know. She's just a bitch. Um, but, you know, the cat's out of the bag. Once that mask has come off and someone has actually seen them for who they really are, you know, they need these flying monkeys even more than they ever did to keep up this false construct. But if you are friends with a narcissist, uh, please believe they will not think twice about throwing you under the bus. Oh, actually, yeah, let's just quickly run through. So with my ex's friends, all the people that literally thought that they were tight as thick as thieves with him, um, when he went down with the police, um, he became a police informant and turned on all of them, each and every one of them. He set them up. He put some of them in jail. I mean, this is, you know, this is his friends. This is the people that he would have, you know, said to me that they were close, that, you know, that their friendship meant something, you know. It's just more proof that um, everything that narcissists say is a lie, a con and a manipulation. They don't do friends. They don't do relationships. The only person they give two shits about is themselves. So if you think you're being a friend to a narcissist, think again. Okay, they're just using you to get something that they want. You don't know what it is that they want. You're not privy to the um, inner workings of their mind. And if you are acting like a flying monkey um, to someone's ex, maybe you might want to rethink that. Maybe you don't know as much as you think you do. You know, just step back and have a little think. Maybe if someone's been married to someone for, you know, 10 years, 20 years, whatever. Maybe they know that person a little bit better than you do. Just because he's told you who he is, um, is very different from actually seeing and observing yourself. One thing I can say is I know who I was married to because I was married to him for a very long time. I'm still legally married to him. Okay. I know that man inside and out I know everything he is about and it's not because he told me it's because I actually saw it it is called time time right this is the only way to actually quantify who someone actually is by seeing them in different situations different scenarios over a period of time okay so this is a now a personal message to my flying monkey. Like I said, have a little look back at all of his other friends. Where are they? Why doesn't he have any friends? Oh, that's right. Because he threw each and every single one of them under the bus to save himself. Okay? And if you think he's not going to do the same thing to you, you're very mistaken, darling. He's going to do the same thing to you. He is just using you for somewhere to stay for something to look at that's not his partner because he's already bored of her okay you need to wake up to yourself and stop with your little messages to me you don't know me and you're never ever going to know me because you're a fucking idiot okay all right lovelies for the rest of you watching, thank you very much for watching. Um, sorry that I uh, even bothered to talk to that person. I don't even know why I bothered. Um, you know, because the thing with fly monkeys is they're not real bright. So, but anyhow, for the rest of you, the answer to the question is no. Narcs do not do friendship. 
and um, they don't have friends. They just use people. All right, lovelies. Thanks for watching. Bye.